In this video, you're going to learn how to easily make charts of all sorts in Canva. Here's an example of monthly active users on some of the top social media platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and X. All your data such as labels and values can be added directly in Canva and you can even upload from your own Excel sheet or Google Sheets. But what's more interesting is that Canva allows you to choose a style. So you've got different charts like bar charts, line charts to a tree map style and even a funnel chart like this one here. And what's also great when you are creating charts in Canva is that it is in Canva. So whenever you are creating new designs in Canva, you can apply your charts directly to your design. So let's get to the tutorial and I'll show you how to create charts. First things first, if you do not have a Canva account yet, look in the description box below where there's a link to sign up. If you use the link down below, you will get a free trial of Canva Pro. However, if you are going to be creating charts in Canva, you don't necessarily need a Canva Pro account. Once you've signed up for an account, head to your homepage and then we're going to create a new design. The size and dimensions of your Canva designs really depends on what you're creating. So if you're wanting to create a presentation, for instance, then you can simply head to create a design and then search for presentation. However, sometimes it is straight where the listings and results are, but you'll see their presentation. And this is in a 16 9 ratio, which is usually 1920 by 1080 pixels. However, you can go ahead and select any size you want because it really doesn't matter what size you'll be able to add a chart of your choosing. But in this tutorial, I'm going to simply use the presentation format. We'll click once. You'll start with a blank canvas and this is what it looks like. It will present you with some designs that you can start with. This is based on the presentation, but we'll go and hide that. We do not need it. To bring up the charts tool, all you need to do is head to apps and you'll see here more from Canva, you've got charts. If you do not see it, simply go into the search box right here, search for charts, hit enter, and now you'll see charts that's built into Canva. So we'll click that once and then you'll be presented with a range of different charts to choose from and styles. We've got bar charts, line and dot charts, interactive charts, pie charts, infographic charts, and other charts. Let's create a simple bar chart. And this is the one we'll start with. So we'll click once, but on that note, you can change the style later on anyway. Once you've added the chart of your choosing, you'll see some placeholders like the values and the labels. These can all be edited, of course, if you look right here. To start with, make sure you have all of the data that you want to input into your chart. And once you have that, we can then work with the table. To bring up a better view of the entire table, simply click on expand data table. That'll open up the table in full view. So you can see a preview of what your chart looks like. You've got different options like the show legend, show labels, show grid lines, but we'll go and play around with that later on once our values are in. So start by entering all of your data. So I'll go ahead and do that. So the first column will be the platforms that I'll be including in the chart. We've got Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and X. So I've named this in particular platforms. The next will be the actual monthly active users. All right, so I've entered all of the values that I need. And what we're going to do is delete anything we do not need. So by default, it will show different series. You got extra columns. So in order to delete the extra unnecessary columns, we can simply uh, highlight what we don't need and then right click. And then we're going to delete four columns. And there we go. You will see some empty cells and columns and rows here, but you can easily just delete them. It will pop up like another one, but all you need to do is just right click and delete the two rows. However, if you do click it once more anywhere, it will add that extra row, but it shouldn't bother you anyway, since none of this will be included. But once done, all we need to do is just exit. 
And now our chart has been added with the new values. All right, from here, we can customize our chart from the different colors that we can use. So just feel free to select the color that you want, let's say purple. And what we can also do is go into the chart and then go to settings. And what we can do is swap rows and columns, which is optional. You do not need to do it if you don't. And we can see uh, that monthly active users is now below here instead of uh, above. So you can see it's just swapped. And while we're here, we can see different settings like the legend. So if you do have multiple uh, values and data, then you may want to add this since uh, it's going to ex explain exactly what these meanings are. We can also show or not show any of the labels, which you probably don't want it to do. And we can say show grid lines too, if you do not want it. It just helps with readability. Going back to the top, we can make adjustments to the look of it, such as the spacing. We can increase the column uh, spacing like so, or go back so that it looks more like this. We can change the roundness of each of the bars. So going there, we can see the roundness adjusted. And of course, because we are in Canva, we can customize the font style, changing to a different font, like let's say Roboto or something different like Trochi here. And we can also change the font size, expanding it, making it bigger or smaller. If you do want to change the style of your chart, simply click on the chart once. That'll bring you to the options here. And at the top, you'll see bar chart, right? Which is what we selected. And if you click that, you'll see different charts to choose from, from stacked bar chart, to which doesn't work in this case since we only have uh, one value here but we can also choose like a line chart that looks like this or we could choose something like a histogram chart or let's say a scattered chart here which doesn't look too good there there's also a pie chart which looks pretty good and we can individually change the colors so we can say that uh, YouTube here, I think it's YouTube, or that's, sorry, Facebook. Uh, let's say we wanna change it to a black color. We can change that specifically for that uh, value there. And you simply rinse and repeat for the rest. Some other styles going down, we've got a donut chart as well as a tree map chart, which can also be adjusted. So each of these uh, chart styles has their own settings. So if you go to settings, we've got different uh, options here, such as what you want to include. And once you choose your chart, you can go into settings and they have their own individual settings. So in this case, with the tree map chart, you can change things like the data selection. So we've got group and you can include things like uh, your other labels. In this case, we've got monthly active users. So it not only shows the labels, but also the values of the monthly active users and anything else you want to include. It's just a different uh, visual a way of seeing things and it depends how you want to display your chart. Once you've created a chart, you can go ahead and customize your page as you wish. So let's say with this one, we want to add a background. We can go ahead and add something like a photo. Search for something like a minimalist office so that I can get a clean background there. Let's say uh, something like this, which is the one I used. And once that's added, we can set the image as background and then have a little play around with the sizing and crop it a bit so that we're only including uh, just a bit of it. And so what we are actually displaying is mainly the chart. So that's what it looks like. We can increase, decrease the size, of course, uh, to the size that we want. Let's make a little bit bigger and center it right there. And let's go ahead and add a heading here. So we'll go ahead, click on text, click on add a heading. And right here, we can drag uh, at the top and we'll adjust it again. But let's say this is a monthly active users. And then I'll change the font style to something a bit more bold, like the League Spartan font style, increase the size like so, and there we go. We just adjust it so it's in the center. And now this could very well be part of my presentation. It could be part of a pitch deck or what have you. But there we go, friends. That's how you can create charts in Canva to enhance your designs. Hope this video was helpful and insightful. If it was, by all means, give this video a thumbs up and I'm looking forward to sharing the next training with you.